Hey everybody, I'm Sazastic and welcome back on this new video! Remember my Lion King Family Tree remake? Well, if you haven't seen it yet, you need to watch it to understand what is going on in this video. So not too long ago, I asked you if you would like to know more about the new generation of the lions. So today, and to celebrate the 5,000 subscribers of my channel, I made this video. I hope you will enjoy it. And let's go! Everything was fine on the Pride Land. Kiara and Kovu were now the leaders. Since the reunifications of the Pride Lands with the Outlands, there was no more trouble with Outlanders lion trying to get into the Pride Lands. To keep the Pride Lands thriving, groups have been created so everybody would have something to do. The lion war been maintained with Kayun as the leader of the group. Their mission was to protect the Pride Rock, but especially the Pride Land in general. The Hunters group been reworked to make sure the best lioness could be part of it. Shada became the leader of the Hunters because she was the fastest lioness of the kingdom. Indeed, she was a cross-breed half lion and half cheetah. And their mission was to feed the lions, lioness, and the cubs of the Pride Lands. They were not hunting for other animals kind like panther, cheetah or what, just for lions. Some of the group been created such as takers, who had the mission to take care of the cubs of buzzy lioness from other group, for example, they would take care of the cubs of a lioness from the hunter group while she was hunting. They could also find a small group of messengers who had to bring and to give information message between the different clans. For example, between the Wilds, so Kopa's clan, and the Pride Rock, so Kiara and Kobu's clan. Now let's have a better look on how things turned out for Simba's offspring. Kovu and Kiara were good king and queen. They were really appreciated by their lions and have worked a lot to make the Pride Lands even better than they already were. Together, they got twins, Inja and Kito. Kito was the firstborn, so he was the future king. When Kovu and Kiara became the official king and queen, they gave the opportunity to Kayon to leave the Pride Rock to build his own pride. But Kayon decided to stay to protect the Pride Lands and to keep his Lion's World leader statue. Not too long after the rework of the Hunter group, Kayon met Shada. Shada was a new lioness. She was a crossbreed and it has been hard for her to be accepted by her team, even though after a while, she won the respect of the lionesses and been chosen to be the leader of the hunters. Kayon worked hard to get her attention because at first she wasn't really liking him, thinking he was too cocky, too proud of himself. It's only when they had to work together for a mission that she got to know him more and had accepted to give him a chance. A year later, Fleck was born. But Shada got an infection and died a few weeks after Flex's birth. Kayon had to take care of his child alone, but he was way too sad to do it. So he gave him to Kiara until he could feel better and ready to raise his kid. Kopa stayed with Vitani. They founded their own pride in the jungle and named themselves the Wilds. Their group was way smaller than Kiara and Kovu's one, but they were really powerful. They had the particularity to count more panthers than lions. Panthers who once were in need of protection and found this protection under Kopa's command. Kopa was taking care and training the males and Vitani the females. Though Vitani stopped training the females when she got her first cub, Sharp, and then she got Nash. She also got pregnant with a third cub, but unfortunately, her little girl, Niti, was born dead, what took her into a depression. 
Seeing his lioness depressed, Copa took the decision to send her and their cubs to the Pride Rock, so there she could spend time with her brother and Kiara, while Sharp and Nash could spend time with their cousin, Kito, Inja and Fleck. Kito and Sharp were really reckless, while Fleck was more like the worried one of the group. Inja was usually spending time with her friends, more than she was spending time with the boys. Nash, the younger one, was usually put aside by his brother, so he always ended up with Inja and her friends, or alone. Vitani and her cubs spent a few months to the Pride Lands, then, when she felt better, they returned into the jungle. The more years passed, and the more Kito had to learn how to act to be king, even though the young lion didn't want it to be king, and he never changed his mind. Even when he became an adult, he always avoided the discussions about being king, what started to worry his parents. Kovu tried to have a talk with him, but nothing changed. So he went to see Kayan and Kopa, asking them for help, but even with their help, Kito refused to listen. One day, as he was with Fleck to the borders of the kingdom, the two lions noticed something they never saw before. Despite Fleck's warning, Kito decided to approach the creature. He suddenly felt a sting in his shoulder, and a minute later, he fell down to the ground. Scared, Fleck ran away, back to the Pride Rock to look for help, but Fleck was known as a worried lion. When he was younger, he usually came asking for help and talking about danger when there actually were no dangers. So when he arrived and told Kovu and the other lions that Kito got attacked by a sort of hairless monkey, nobody trusted him. It's only when Kito came back, all dizzy and confirmed what Fleck said, that the lions started to trust him. That day, a new kind of enemy had arrived. Men. After that first meeting with the man, Kito ignored he had a chip on him and would be tracked over and over and over his whole life by the men. After a few months, the lions of the Pride Lands got the visit of a new group of men who came to check on how the lions were living. Not sure to know how to react to that, Kovu and the lion committee took the heartbroken decision to keep the Pride Lands safe, to ban the future King Kito and to nominate his twin Inja as the future queen. Kiara disagreed with this decision. Unfortunately, the decision had been made and Kito had to leave the Pride Rock. Kito left to the mountain. For the first time in his life, he felt alone and unwanted. He tried to join a few groups, but nobody wanted a rock lion. One night, to escape a rainstorm, Kito entered a cave. It's how he met Ashi, a rogue lioness. The two lions spent the next few days together, before Kito asked her to be his lioness. At first, she said no, because she liked her freedom way too much, but they finally ended together. Meanwhile, in the jungle, Sharp and Nash grew up. Having the lion worn mark on his shoulder, Nash was one day going to leave the jungle to join the Pride Land. This is something Sharp has always been jealous of. The fact that Nash could be more important than him just made him hungry. It's why Sharp had always been rude with his brother. As the future leader of the wild, Sharp always used this excuse to bully his younger brother to do things, despite the talk Copa and Vitani had with their son. The situation never changed, to the point that Nash had to leave the jungle earlier than he should have. Nash arrived to the Pride Lands, a bite before the Queen Inja met her future mate, Linus. Linus was a white lion who had been found by Nato, a messenger lion. Between Inja and Linus, it has been love in the first time. He'd been accepted by everybody but Fleck. Fleck didn't trust him, but no one really cared what Fleck was thinking. Inja got her first cub really fast. It was a little girl 
who got the name of Mist. She was a really funny and happy lioness. She grew up around her little brother Jinx, who was born a bite after her. They loved to play together around the lake. But one day, Mist went further than she used to go and got captured by humans. Meanwhile in the mountain, Kito and Ashi got their first and only son, Zuba. During Zuba's first years, the small family had to move a lot due to the chip Kito had in him. It was their only chance to escape humans. When Zuba got older, he decided to join a small clan. Kito and Ashi left their child there. Even if it has been hard for them to say bye, but it was the best to do. Zuba fell in love with the leader daughters, Flory. And a few years later, when the two lions were old enough, they got a son named Alaki. The level of humans increased and one day, as Zuba was hunting with Alaki, his son got trapped and kidnapped by humans. Despite the fact that Zuba ran after the jeep who took Alaki away, he was never able to catch on it and just had to accept the fact that he lost his son. In the Pride Lands, Inja and Ninus looked for their daughter but never found her. Mist being sold to a circus. She grew up learning tricks and making shows, but she could never forget her family and lands. Before ending this video, I just have a little question for you. Would you like to see more of video on these lions? If yes, tell me the name of the lions in the comments. So this was the part 2 of the Lion King Family Tree remake. I hope you enjoyed it. If yeah, don't forget to like, to share and to leave comments. You can also subscribe my channel to see more of my videos. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell once you subscribe. So this was Slossastic and I'm gonna see you soon guys for another video. Bye bye and take care!